Today, I'm gonna to show you our top three ICOs for June with two honorable mentions based off of our ICO score sheet where we will go over each of the projects, their pros and cons, and conclude each one with their hype and overall score, and we start now. Welcome to another video with Altcoin Pigs. If this is your first time here and you want to keep up to date with everything crypto, especially with our ICO and coin score sheet, then smash that subscribe button below. Also, if you enjoy this video or you find it helpful, then don't forget to smash that like button. Check out our Twitter and our Discord and our Altcoin Picks Facebook group, which are becoming more and more active. The links are located in the description below. So before we get started, I want to let you know that we will be adding many more ICOs. We actually have about 70 being ready to get charted and about 25 or more already charted. I'm hiding a bunch of them because I, I, I don't want you guys to see a half empty score sheet. So these are the ones we have completed, or at least majority of them. And these are all the June ICOs. If you scroll over when you get access to this, you can see the days they are actually having the crowd sale plus if the whitelist is still available. I think this is very valuable. Many people ask me this and I decided to finally add this because one of the worst things is to see a video on an ICO, get super excited for it, and then see that the ICO whitelist is already done. So our first pick is One Ledger, and One Ledger is a universal blockchain protocol that gives users the ability to perform cross-ledger access via business modulization. And modulization is reducing the complexity of a system. In case some of you didn't know, what that actually meant. One of the other resources I really like to use here is ICO Drops. I know many of you like ICO Bench and all those other ones, but this one seems to be fairly unbiased and doesn't shill a lot of the wrong projects. I feel like ICO Bench 100% does that. So this is one of my main resources along with other YouTubers. So let's move to the pros and cons of One Ledger. And as you can see, we are on our coin score sheet. First, let's look at their roadmap. So they do have a great roadmap. If you check it out, it's pretty detailed. Actually, if you look at ICO drops, we can check out a lot of this stuff. They have pictures. This is why I love this website so much. Very detailed. You don't have to go straight to the website to get this. As you can see, 2018 is going to be a pretty big year for this project. After that, you check out the team where they received a four, which is one of the top scores you can get because they have a pretty superstar studded team. Again, you can check this out here. This is only a picture, so I'm not going to go into detail here. Either way, another great resource. Okay, so if you check out, they have a high hype rating on ICO drops, which I do chart this because, I, like I said, I do like this website. That helps with their hype on our score sheet. The final pro, in my opinion, is their hard cap. They have a very nice $15 million hard cap, especially with the market, especially now with it being so bad, 15 million is almost a sweet spot that we're looking for. Now with their cons, only 35% of the tokens will be in circulation after the token sale. It's not a huge con in terms of it's going to make or break an ICO, but it's just kind of annoying to see. After that, the partners, they aren't the best and something they could really work on. And then their advisors, they could work on maybe getting a few more superstar advisors. I know they do have a few that are great, but one or two doesn't really push me over the top. After that, and probably the most annoying part is their ICO date has already passed for their whitelist. So if you didn't whitelist already, you have no chance of getting in. Super annoying. I know. I'm sorry. I tried to get this out as early as possible. I didn't even know that this was passed. I didn't even get in here. I still just want to let you know about this project. After that, let's check out their hype score. So for their hype score, they received an 88%, which is actually really high. It's one of the top charted hype scores in June. They have 25,000 Telegram members, but only 3,700 Twitter followers. It kind of confuses me. It actually really surprises me. I'm not sure what's going on there. I know Twitter is one of the best places to get blockchain information or news, and it seems like they're slacking here. After that, their overall score was a 92%, which is second only to Quark Chain, which we're not going over that. We've already covered them in the May ICOs. They received a 94% for their project score, which is actually tied for the top with Loyak. So overall, this is a great project. I am super bummed that I did not get on the whitelist. Either way, if you did, good luck. I'm excited for you there. After that, we have Phantom. This is a DAG-based smart contract platform that solves the issue of scalability and confirmation time of the existing blockchain technology. So what are the pros of this project? First, and you can see it's right here. 
they have some quality partners, including Oracle, which is a tech powerhouse. After that, their team, they have a top-notch team with some big bank players. Also, some top-notch advisors, which they recently added, Ran Nunir. <laughs> Not sure if I said that right, but he was ranked ninth on the most influential blockchain people. So definitely a big advisor there. After that, they received a high on their ICO drop score, which again, you know I love. So what are their cons? First, and this is a huge con in my opinion, is their hard cap of pretty much $40 million. This is humongous with a market that has been struggling. It, it really is pushing people away, and especially me. After that, they could add a bit more to the roadmap. And again, ICO Drops kind of gives us this idea. As you can see, 2018 doesn't really have that much going on. It's not too bad, which is why they received a two. That's really the only two major cons here. Granted, the hard cap, like I said, is, is, is way too high and will probably deter many, if not most, investors. Let's check out their hype score. They have a 58%, which is much lower than I expected, but I'm not really surprised again because of their hard cap. You check it out they have 23,131 telegram members with only again 2800 twitter followers this is something i don't know if this is common but i don't really expect that supposedly if they're interested you would think they would follow the project on twitter at least that's what i do after that their overall project score was an 81 percent it would have been much higher if their hype would just been a little bit there they have a 90 percent on the project score which is super high and it's one of the better scores for the ico score sheet in june also so this one you can whitelist so as we have here june 8th is when the whitelist open and you'll be able to whitelist for this ico which is on june 15th our final coin for June in our top three ICOs is AirBlock Protocol. So AirBlock is a decentralized advertisement data marketplace where individuals would be able to monetize their data and advertisers would be able to buy these data to conduct targeted marketing campaigns for higher return on investments. So what are the pros of AirBlock Protocol? First, their parent company serves eBay Korea and Wuwa Brothers, which are two super big companies in that space or in, in that space in that country they have a super low uber low market cap of 10.3 million just like phantasm which sold out super fast 10 million is that golden spot that i love so i've been trying to get onto this whitelist hopefully we get in next they are selling over 50 percent of their tokens again i talked about that earlier i do like that number the whitelist period is ongoing so right now you can go onto their website and sign up for the whitelist so go check it out if you're interested here they have a fairly large and impressive team. Now, they only got 2.5 here. It's not super impressive where they have big positions back in the past, but their team is huge, and I love that. After that, advisors such as J.H. Kim, who is on the foundation council of Icon. They have a pretty good score there. And then they have some impressive partners such as GS Shop, which is another big company. Go check them out if you want more information. And then they received... A normal score for ICO drops which isn't huge but at least it shows that ICO drops had some interest in at least rating them so let's check out their cons so their first con they have some fairly low hype at 65% and their Twitter followers are or their telegram is under 7,000 people and their Twitter followers is under 500 which is tiny I am actually, again, surprised by how small these Twitter accounts are for these companies. After that, the possible impact of this project is only moderate. If you, as I said, it doesn't seem like it's a huge game changer. Either way, negative in my opinion. After that, let's check out their hype. So again, we said their hype score is a bit low at 65%, and it has to do with their ICO drop score being normal, and then their very tiny Telegram and Twitter followers. You combine all three of those, the hype just isn't there yet. Hopefully it does in the future, and that's something we will see. And that's something that I'm going to watch and decide if I want to join the ICO based off that, because hype seems to be so important for each one of these ICOs. And right now, it's not showing too big on AirBlock. After that, their overall score was an 82% which isn't bad after having a hype score of only 65%. And this is because they were able to get an 89% for their project score, which is great. And again, the whitelist is still going and ICO is on June 19th. All this information is here. So once you get 
to my Discord, get some activity going. You get all this information. You can help us out, and we will be super grateful. Let's check out our two honorable mentions. So our first honorable mention is Essentia, which is a master node and multi-chain set of protocols connecting centralized and decentralized resources to create new powerful interactions and experiences. So first, I'm just going to go over the scores for this since they're the honorable mentions. They received a 50% on the hype score, which is super low. And then their project score received an 89%, resulting in a 77% overall score, which is still not too bad. They need to work on their marketing to get that hype up. And then Essentia's whitelist has passed. Again, I know you hate that, but I, I have to mention that. And then the ICO starts on June 7th if you were able to get in on the whitelist. Now for our final honorable mention is Squeezer. And this one is super soon. The ICO starts June 1st and whitelist is actually ongoing right now. Subcap has already been reached, which is always good to see. So Squeezer is a is creating a single unified blockchain connector that will allow developers to connect to multiple blockchains. So they received a hype score of 77%, which is actually not bad. They had 23,000 Telegram members and 26,000 Twitter followers. This is what more of what I expect from the other ICOs. They were, they were sponsored by ICO drops, but they did not receive an ICO drop score. So their project score and their so their project score was 82% and their overall score was an 81%. This is another one. If you check it out, it's actually kind of exciting and it seems like a really good idea. We'll see how well it actually does. That's my top three ICOs for June with two honorable mentions. I would personally love to get into one ledger, but with the whitelist being over, there's probably no chance of that. So I'm mostly going to watch Airblock Protocol and check out their hype. If their hype is able to increase, then I'm definitely going to jump in. If not, I'll probably skip. Also, I want to note that Metronome and Go Network would probably have gotten some fairly high scores, but it was really hard to get all the information, so that's incomplete. With that being said, if you like this coin score sheet, then don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Come to our Discord. Let me know what coins you want me to chart. I am open to everybody. Again, we have 70 coins that are about to be charted. I am getting people from my Discord to help me, and the full altcoin pick team will be helping us so we will get this charted july seems like it's going to be a huge month for ico so i'm super excited about that thanks again and i'll see you next time